वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस Let us continue to watch our today's video. So today's topic is gas turbine bleed valve and how a gas turbine is being protected from surge protection. So we are taking an example of a G uh, gas turbine to explain this and you uh, know uh, give a basic idea about the phenomena and the protection provided in the machine. so here is a schematic where you can see a uh, gas turbine basically and uh, there are four you know one i'm sorry what is happening there uh one two three and four these are the four valves uh, you know basically provided to make that compressor air exhaust into gas turbine exhaust yeah so why why uh, this kind of you know uh, uh, system is there so if you might have know that uh, there is a thing called compressor surge so i will uh, not go in very detail because surge is also a very big topic to cover but uh, very quickly if i can explain in a very nutshell uh, uh, way so let's say you are uh, i mean uh, some p1 pressure is there and uh, the discharge there is a p2 pressure is there but what if if you are not able to uh, you know uh, have a proper exit of gases at the ex exhaust side so uh, let's say your machine is running and then there is a suddenly block or very low opening at the exit side so what will happen the there will be a sudden pressure rise and then this uh, your compressor is running it is you know uh, in rpm but uh, here there is no exhaust and then if this pressure is uh, building up so and what you will have you will have a back pressure and that time it will try to you know push back that uh, with that pressure so here you know pressure is the increasing increasing stage by stage and once the last is there is a very high back pressure and it will start coming back so that is a surging phenomena which a uh, uh, which is not you uh, know advisable and it which is very dangerous for a equipment to operate so this is a very basic you know uh, high level uh, understanding of a uh, surge so what happens in the case of gas turbine so gas turbine compressor is designed to operate uh, for a full load operation right so the same uh, compressor should take care when the machine is at full load right but what happens during startup so startup air flow is way less less than this full load air requirement right so start up there is a very less air requirement so during acceleration or uh, if you reach to fsnl then also there is very minimal minimalistic quantity of air is required so by that time you don't want to put all that air into you know combustion chamber so that is where your bleed valves are there so you you have those bleed valves open and that extra air which is not required into the combustion that goes directly to the exhaust and pass out to into the stack or the chimney and that is how you have your uh, required you know design requirement fulfilling for combustion system and that is only going into your uh, combustion uh, or turbine area so how do you control when there is a combustion happening so uh, many a machines uh, maybe 6b older ones if you see they uh, close the bleed valve 
while they reach FSNL. FSNL also they closes that uh, bleed wall. So by FSNL that all uh, maybe six B there are uh, maybe I, I what I remember is two bleed walls only. In nine E uh, uh, there are four, but six B I think two bleed walls are there. But in the advanced machine or uh, newer version of machine, the bleed wall close at when uh, you know uh, your 52G or the generator breaker close. So this is the difference over that period of time GE has made. So now why why what is the significance? The significance is that when you your combustion or load is there, then only the fuel. I mean. Uh, fuel requirement increases and then only you will have the sufficient air uh, which will be required to you know load the generator or load the turbine to a you know normal operating load before that it is not envisaged that you will need the full amount of air that is why these bleed valves are remaining open so this is on the operation side and if you see these are the valve but how this valve operate so for this uh, there will be a sov 20 cb i guess is the number and then uh, how this there will be a you know air uh, uh, basically this will be air coming from the turbine only so that uh, there will be one filter after that it will pass to one you know uh, uh, solenoid valve which will get electrical signal from you know turbine controller 125 volt dc and then this will uh, this pneumatic system will act and then it will actuate this plunger to ultimately operate this valve and once this valve is operated you will see those uh, feedback on 33 cb 1 2 3 4 so on so that is how the entire system works so hope i uh, made it clear why bleed valves are required how many bleed walls are there it may uh, vary and when it should be open and when it should be closed a similar thing happen in the reverse order while you reduce the load on turbine and uh, turbine comes to you know uh, maybe minimum load and then once you open the breaker then the bleed walls open and it remains open whilst you uh, shut down the machine while startup, uh, I mentioned that uh, it will be remaining open only once uh, your generator breaker closes, then bleed wall will close and the entire air will come into the combustion system. Before that, it is bypassed directly to your exhaust system. So I, uh, this is what I wanted to cover. If you want any uh, further, if you have any further questions, doubts or if you want to ask for another video on the same topic you can uh, ask those questions in comment section thank you thank you very much uh, for being with us and watching our channel thank you very much